Right everyone, Web Collector here. I was asked recently to do a video on a a minimal bug out bag, or a, you know, like a bare minimum bug out bag. What I think you would need in it. So this is what I think you would need for a bare minimum bug out bag. So I think you're going to need a small bag with your stuff in it, obviously and two other secondary things whether you can fit those in that bag depends on the size of your bag the bag i've got won't fit those two in but they could go in my pocket or on my belt as well but i'll i'll talk about those after so this is the bag i've used and it's a this is a tactical leg bag you can also just sling it over your shoulder any small rucksack would work for this you know um you know, yeah, any rucksack, anything, you know, even a handbag, you know, you can set up as a handbag if you're a woman. So, uh, so yeah, this is what I think you're going to need in it. So, you're definitely going to want two water bottles, I think, and you're going to need to fill them with water before you go out. So, you're either going to want to have filled up disposable water bottles already, take those with you and pour them into these or if you can put the water into these and it's going to last do that but I doubt it you probably have to better cleaning them out when it comes to it filling them up what I like to do I like to write a note you can laminate it and that as well put it on on your attach it to your bag a note with the stuff you're going to need because you may also want to carry your phone and stuff like that but that's not in this kit so anyway two water bottles and the water bottles I've got is this metal 500 mil water bottle that could possibly I'm not 100 sure but you might be able to boil water in it but that's just a water bottle anyway that's all you need it for is water so a good water bottle any size but I think you're going to need at least a litre you want to carry at least a litre with you so I've got 500 mil one there and then we've got the other one here, which I think is a litre, not I'm too sure. Got a pouch so it can go on your belt or it could attach to the outside of the bag. But one of the more important things is in here, it's also got the, the cup for cooking in so you can boil water in that. Now this bug out bag, as it's a bare minimum one, it's not going to be a long term one anyway. And most bug out situations aren't anyway. You know, for a longer term situation, you want different stuff, I think. But for bug out, where you've got to leave somewhere because of an emergency or something, you may only be gone for a couple of days. So that's all you need to prepare for, for this kind of thing. So yeah. Tin to cook your food in, eat your food out of, and a water bottle. So now you've got at least, I think we've got about one and a half litres worth of water we've got there at least, you know, at least a litre anyway. Not sure how big they are, maybe 700. But you know, you've got over a litre's worth of water you can carry with you, that's important. And that can go on your belt. We'll go over the SS survival tin now. Any survival tin, uh, I called them the SAS survival tin because that's where they originated from, the SAS, not SOS, that's just on there, but yeah, the British SAS. Uh, John Lofty Wiseman created these. Look on my channel for how to make these. You, this has all the backup stuff for this bag. So if you lose anything in the bag, you're gonna have the same things in here as a backup, just not as good as the one. You know, you can have a bigger knife in here, but you have got a very little, small little knife in there. If you lose your lighter, you've got a fire kit in here. You know, so look up how to make a survival tin definitely make a survival tin because it also has other stuff it's got stuff for fishing stuff like that but it's just you probably won't need this but this is your backup for stuff you don't have in here this is where it's all kept small you know you've got little sewing kit stuff like that you know so a survival tin definitely so we'll carry on to the bag now so in the top here i've got a wind up radio torch power bank and it's also got a solar panel for charging as well so you've got communication there or at least to find out the news find out what's happening you've got a torch 
uh, and a power bank to charge your phone if you need it. So make sure you have a little USB with this as well. It's wind up and it's solar power. The only thing that this is lacking that I do like to have is a torch with a strobe. So you could chuck a torch with a strobe in here as well. But there's something else I can talk about as well in a minute anyway. We'll get there. So radio, you want you want you don't have to have that. It doesn't have to be that combined. But you, I think you do want a radio, a torch, and a power bank. It just helps if you can get them all in one. You know. So this little pocket on the side here is a little pouch with the strobing torch a space blanket which is a survival blanket a lighter make sure your lighter's full and a Swiss Army pen knife or similar knife something you could do with those two I replace those with something like this now this is a Swiss Army type knife, it's got all the tools but it's also got a strobing flashlight on it that uses a 18650 battery so you could replace both of those with that that's an option, then you've got the little pouch just to carry the stuff in as well so this front pocket here in here now this may depend what time of the year you go and where you live but a little rain poncho because even in hot places it can be very cold at night you know or it could be raining or whatever so yeah little poncho type thing this is a pro climate cagoule which is just a waterproof jacket very thin little waterproof jacket that's worth having i think nothing in that pocket that one so now all we got is the main pocket and in here this is a small hygiene kit which contains toilet roll baby wipes hand sanitizer and some germaline that goes with the first aid kit that's in here as well so you've got a way to clean your hands go to the toilet clean yourself up and then if you cut yourself ways to disinfect it also with that that will also start fires and many other things the uh, hand sanitizer alcohol hand sanitizer but yeah i think baby wipes and some toilet roll can be very helpful for lots of things but you know the main one is if you need to get a toilet you know you do want to be clean but yeah that's that's what i call a little hygiene kit there here is the first aid kit I've got up and it's a little basic first aid kit I made, that's a darts case. But uh, it's perfect for this. And in here is a, quite a basic first aid kit, but alright for a couple of days. So in here you've got plasters, scissors, tweezers, various different band-aids is what American call them, we call them plasters here. Some alcohol wipes different kinds of painkillers, a big um, wound pad and quite a lot of duct tape because if you can't fit a bandage in here the duct tape will work as a bandage or a big plaster and then in the bottom here a couple more plasters and a little folding mirror in case you get something stuck in your eye or something like that you know so there is a little bare minimum first aid kit. You could definitely have more, but I think that would be better than nothing. And then lastly, I think, I think it's two more things. Some kind of little towel to dry yourself off with, clean, clean yourself up with, clean your um, cooking tin out with filter water stuff like that you can either have a little towel or a shimag would do just as good and it'll be bigger um you can use it as a you know headscarf stuff like that but some kind of little towel or shimag 
something like that, perfect. And then lastly, about a day's worth of food. In here I've got some pre-cooked rice, so you've got something you can eat straight away without having to cook it. A couple of packets of stuff like some biscuits, some chocolate raisins and some crisps. Just, you know, just for something to eat that day, because to be honest you could go a day without eating. The most important thing is water. This is just a backup to make you feel comfortable and, you know, um, you don't need, you could spend a whole day and not eat anything, it's not going to affect you really. You know, you're not going to die from it. So you want to keep that as small as possible, but yeah, have about a day's worth of food. Like I said, in here I've got rice, the, the, the chocolate raisins, the biscuits, some crisps, a couple of packets of coffee, some salt and pepper, plastic knife and uh, plastic fork and spoon and some stuff to clean my, and some hand wipes but you could also chuck in there our oh, copper soups in there as well and uh, you could put some octo cubes in there so I'm just going to check this bag something else you could do if you didn't want to do that if you didn't want that kind of food just get a load of chocolate bars high, a load of high energy chocolate bars oh, I have got two more things in here now, a load of high energy chocolate bars will um, do and they take up less room you know and that's good enough that's all you want the last two things are some kind of multi tool just to help you do things if you have to you know you could replace the pen knife with just a good um, multi tool and then lastly in here I've got just for a bit of a backup and something to write with tactical pen so you can break glass easily stuff like that so that's what I reckon you would need for an absolutely bare minimum uh, bug out bag you lot let me know if you think that's enough I think that is enough for like I said bare minimum yeah you can carry more but that's all the essentials the other thing I like about this is if you live in somewhere like America or anywhere where you can carry guns, you could have this small bag and carry a firearm on your back, you know, or have it, you know, a bigger bag restricts you a bit, you know, even a crossbow, you know, where you're allowed to do that. But it would mean you could have your firearm or your your self-defense item, you know, in these countries where you're allowed to do that and a bug out bag you know a small bug out bag the survival blanket can be used for shelter uh keep you warm that's what it's for you've got ways of cooking you've got your water you've got ways to sort of communicate here what's going on you've got light you know and you've got food that's the bare minimum i think and then your hygiene kit don't forget to chuck in any medication you would need you might want to chuck a toothbrush in there, I don't know. That's not essential, you're not going to die if you don't have, you know, if you don't brush your teeth. To be honest, you don't need a hygiene kit at all, but it, that would definitely make you feel more comfortable, at least if you can wipe your ass, you know what I mean? And, uh, and everything you haven't got in there is in here anyway. You know, you could say there's no sewing kit, well, there's one in there, you know. Um, you've got no kind of string or anything, or there's some in there. Um, you know, what if you lose your lighter? There's matches in there, you know. <laughs> the, the, the survival tins are a really good backup to go with this kit because you've got all the little things you need in there to back that up. If you, you know, on the on the time when you think, oh shit, I haven't got that. Well, it could it'll be in the survival tin most probably, you know. So yeah, you let me know if you think there's anything uh that doesn't need to be in there or anything that could be added but do remember it's bare minimum i've got bug out bags that are four times the size of this that's probably got everything in you'd ever need you know um but this was about bare minimum small quick carry bug out bag you know something you can grab straight away you know you can do that with a bug out bag anyway but this this you can carry this and you know other stuff easily right that's it. Bare minimum bug out bag, my opinion on it and what I think you would need. Alright? 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I think I've got everything in, everything I meant to say anyway. Yeah. Right, that should be everything. If not, I'll add a lantern or something. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.